futures. The future generations is why we do all of this. So I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoy it. And I'd also like to thank Maya for her letter and bringing you all here today. Maya is one of our future leaders. Uh, a member of the Gallup Tribe of Indians and a wealth of knowledge for you all. So thank you guys for being here and enjoy the day. I was inspired by the project. I'm in grade one. I have a science project to learn about salmon to keep plants and animals healthy. To help the salmon, I want to plant trees at the lower Wapato Creek side. We can even invite others. Can you help me with this? Sincerely, Maya. In the 1950s, this area was filled with soil to the level to make farms and for people to live. The creek used to flow to the ocean through this site. And then at that time when this was filled, it got moved to along the road and then went out to the ocean along the road. What this project did is restored that creek from the, along the ditch to go back through the site like this. This is a, a 20 acre site created habitat for the fish and it created wetlands. Obviously it looked very different back in the day. It was um, tide flats where clamming took place, village site. This is a heavily populated area by the Puyallup people. And there's different kinds of salmon. So you know like there's different kinds of bears. There's like polar bears and there's like brown bears and there's like black bears. Same with salmon. There's different kinds of salmon. And today we've got Chinook salmon. <laughs> We've got chum salmon, and we've got coho salmon here. We're extremely excited, especially about this project. It's one of those things that we know that we can do um, all throughout the tide flats is to restore a lot of this habitat to its natural state. And the partnership between especially the Puyallup tribe and ourselves, because they also, this is uh, their ancestral land. We want to make sure that we return a lot of this where we can to um, its original state. It's important for the salmon, uh, for the habitat here, and uh, learning all the things that we have done to also restore the cultural significance of this area as well. Good job. Isn't it going to be cool when you guys come back here as grown-ups and these are giant trees taller yeah, than you? Yeah, if we come back with some of our friends as grown-ups, we could show them and say that we planted it.